Hey guys, it's your boy Pistol Pete back again for another video. Today we're talking what? We're talking Team of the Week 19 Investments. Now, in order to endear myself in your eyes and, and humanize myself, guys, I gotta let you know, I literally just recorded this video. It was nine minutes long and I did not have my microphone even in front of me. Last night I was recording some career mode in front of my TV. Um, it's a series that I might be coming out with. Might. Teaser. Anyways, nine minutes long. Don't even have a microphone in front of me. No volume. I go to edit the video and drop it on YouTube. You can't hear anything. I'm dicking around with the speakers. I'm trying to get the volume on on my TV. And then I realize, microphone, chilling right over there. Just did a whole nine minute video for nothing. So here's take two. I hope you guys enjoy it. So, Team of the, we team of the Week 19, guys. Um... We got the Lunar New Year coming up, right? So they have promo packs. They might have some SBCs. Nobody knows what's going on with that. Also, you had people holding on to their Team of the Week guaranteed packs from two weeks ago. For those of the people that didn't open up on Team of the Week 18, I do believe that they opened up um, on Team of the Week 19 on the release. So you got to be careful with the market being saturated. Some of these cards um, could rise. They could take a lot longer to rise because there's a lot of them on the market. But, um, thinking about the packs that were open on the Team of the Week 19, Plus, the coupled with the promo packs that could be coming for Lunar New Year. So what I do suggest, extremely important, and I can't stress this enough, and I'll say it again at the end of the video, guys. Before you pick up these players, monitor their prices. I'd probably pick them up late Sunday night, early Monday morning, not when this video drops. Um, there's only going to be four players we talk about, and I'm going to explain it to you guys right now. So first one is Cavani, right? So we'll just click on him. A lot of clicking going on, guys, so just bear with me. The money goes for 500 or 530 on the PS4, depending on what console you play on. And Cavani is an investment that we're thinking about in terms of um, winter upgrades, right? So he's 85 rated, then 86, 87, 88, and then finally 89. So he literally only needs that one point boost to get an upgrade. And then what we're hoping is on February 3rd, I do believe, which is one week from today. So February the 3rd, we should see the first batch of winter upgrades. Um, if Cavani is not included in that first batch of upgrades, people are obviously going to get hyped, and then they're going to start talking about the next couple of batches that come up and who could be in those batches. It, it could be Cavani that gets hyped up, so you can make some good profit on him. Now, the very next player we're talking about in terms of investments moving forward is Coleman, guys, and this one is a no-brainer. Coleman, duh, good-looking right back in the EPL. I know, I know he's a right wing back, but you can turn him into a right back. He is a right back. Basically, good pace. Um, 87, phys, uh, 87 defense, 86 physicality. And then if you go and you throw a anchor on him, look at this, guys. His stats go up to 90 pace, 95 defense, 93 physicality. OP right back in the EPL. Get out of here, guys. Of course that position is going to be needed. Now, People, when they make their EPL team, sometimes they go Kyle Walker and Hector Bayerin and they play him off cam at the left back position. People don't give a crap. The left backs suck in the EPL right now with Baines and Milner being one of the only two informs to even mention at the left back position. So Coleman, a good long-term investment. Now, guys, the next one that I go to is Enyama, my boy over here, 85 rated overall goalkeeper. In his league, there's only one overall inform as a goalkeeper. So we talk about those inform whores. Guys, I'm one of them. But guess what? There's an 85 uh, rated Enyema right here in form that goes for 18K. And I do believe that, uh, let's just check it out before I just throwing out erroneous numbers there. But let's find out what Rufier goes for. My boy Rufi. Uh, so we're going gold in forms. We're looking for his league, which is league, uh, league one, depending on how you guys say it. And then finally position goalkeeper. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 86 rated Rufier goes for 19, I'm sorry, goes for 52k, so you get a 30k haircut, 30k discount if you play with Enyema over Rufier, and if you're on the PS4, it's even bigger, you're talking like a 60k um, in savings, guys. Now, we'll go back to the Team of the Week 19, one last player we're looking at, guys, and it's Rooney Hero Card. Now, why did I pick the Rooney Hero Card, guys? Here's the deal. This is probably going to be the last inform Rooney gets in the goddamn game, man. The guy's got this card for scoring a goal. He doesn't even play that much. And to be honest, the game's kind of passed him a little bit, to be fair. And, he did, you know, so I don't really see him getting another inform in FIFA 17. So this is going to be your last chance. This is probably the longest hold on terms of an investment as we're going to see because this is the card that's just going to grow and grow and grow throughout FIFA 17 as it becomes more and more obvious that Rooney is not going to get another inform. 
plays for a really, really popular team, you throw maybe a Hunter card on him. You can throw maybe a, uh, geez, what are these cards called? Is it Catalyst, I believe? Yeah, Catalyst brings him up to 85 pace, 94 pass, 88 shot. I mean, this guy's OP at cam with a Catalyst. So he's the kind of card you're going to want to hold for future investments. Now, guys, to recap really quick as we wrap up the video, we're talking Cavani, winter upgrade potential. We're talking Coleman, long-term potential right back. Uh, OP right back in the EPL. We're talking Enyema, one of only two informs, and the cheapest one of all in League uh, League uh, League One. And then finally, Rooney as a long-term investment. Guys, now it becomes time for Pistol Pete to promote himself. Twitter equals Pistol Pete 2506. Instagram, Pistol Pete 2506. Twitch, live stream every day, almost. Twitch.tv slash PistolPete2506. All the links are down in the description, guys. And if you haven't hit that sub button yet, you just made the list! Peace!